Hey guys, how we doing? What's up? And welcome back to the channel. Just been out in the garage working just a little bit, pretty much for most of the morning, and then uh, went and got some breakfast and come back and finished up some things. Took the caddy apart just to try and figure out what I'm going to do uh, with the rear suspension, how I'm going to drop it. Uh, I have decided that I'm not going to put it on airbags <clears throat> just because of the simple fact of it's not a cheap process. Uh, I would have to build basically a whole four length suspension back here, which is fine. I can do that. It's not a big deal. Or I may, you know, build my own thing. Um, depending upon you, know, I could do like a mono, a mono leaf. You know, I have just basically some, some round stock coming back. Uh, with the bushing up front coming back just beyond the rear axle where it mounts and then my bag would sit right right here and then put a pan hard bar in it to help with uh, side to side movement that would be fine because we're not going to haul with the truck at all but I, I just and then there's just about there's three different ways that I could lower the rear end of the truck I just I've decided not to put it on air uh, just for the simple fact of it is going to be his everyday driver um, you know, driving it in the winter time, uh, some of you guys know that have CDLs that drive trucks know that, you know, you get airline free, uh, freeze up, uh, you know, it won't have an air dryer on it. It's just a small little compressor and stuff that goes on there. Uh, I'm good. I would mount everything. I don't really want to mount everything in a bed. Uh, I guess I could mount everything in a bed and then put a tonneau cover on it, something like that. I just, I, I don't know. I, well, traditionally, probably I would mount everything back up in here where the spare tire would be and then that way my bed is nice and clean. But I guess, you know, thinking about it, I could put my air tank, my pump, and then all my valving in the bed and put a tonneau cover on it. It does have the snaps on it for a tonneau cover. I could go old school and do that. But, you know, just, just because of me living in Ohio, uh, you know cold winters. It's an everyday driver. I just felt that uh, Air at this point in time is not the way to go because of uh, You know airline freeze up uh, at work We have an air dryer on our trucks then we run some alcohol on the lines just to keep everything dry and it just <clears throat> It is just a lot of work to endure to possibly you know him call me at the end of school or whatever and saying his air you know his bags won't pump up or anything like that um as far as the rear i could run just a standard universal bag kit but up front it's got to be strut bags because it does have struts on it so you know it's just it would be a pretty expensive endeavor um just to uh possibly have some things go wrong because of you know winter driving around here in ohio um, so I have decided just for lowering it, uh, I got some coilover shocks ordered from Raceland. Um, uh, when those come in, I'll have some links in the description for those. Uh, they're not available on Amazon. I ordered them directly from Raceland. Uh, I can't remember what their, their website is or I would tell you now, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> so the front's going to be on coilovers. And then the rear, I think I'm going, there's two different ways I can lower the rear. And that's kind of where I'm at now. I wanted your guys' help uh, to kind of tell me uh, what you would like to see. I went to Tractor Supply. You know, I, like I've told you several times in the past, this is pretty much just like a trailer axle on the back of this truck. And um, you know, I just went to Tractor Supply and bought some, uh, some axle purchase. And basically, the way I would like to do it, um, you know, it's going to need new shocks regardless. I don't know how many miles these shocks have on them. They don't look like they're leaking. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, if I do it the way I want, I'll take the rear shocks off. I'll have to put about a three inch shorter shock on it, which is fine. I'm putting new shocks up front. I might as well put new shocks out back too. So, these are, I took everything apart. Uh, this sets up here. On top you can see the spring perch here on the top of the axle I guess to make it look good what I can actually do is take and cut this spring perch off and uh, if you look right there in the top of the axle you can see they've got a hole drilled and for the alignment pins you know I could put, put that in my drill press and continue drilling that hole the rest of the way through 
this this axle tube and then I could actually cut these off these perches and put them on the bottom right here or just you know cut them off completely and the, use these perches here. You know, those, those could be welded on the bottom of the axle too. Uh, basically what I'm looking at is, those will sit there, um, and that keeps the axle in position on the, uh, the, the springs, or I'm sorry, yeah, on the springs. And then there is another system where they use U-bolt, and then they have a piece of flat stock going from this side to the other side, and with a, a pin in it to keep the everything centered. So I'm gonna build my own. That kit is about 150 some dollars, but you know, I just purchased these uh, saddles here at Tractor Supply for, I think it was uh, $15.93 with tax or something like that. So uh, basically this axle here will go from below the springs to sitting on top of the springs and that's traditionally called an axle flip um, this is a three inch tube these are three inch saddles so you know those will sit just like that but on the bottom of here kind of like so that's that's what i'm thinking about doing uh <clears throat> anyway let me know what you think I could still cut these off, uh, fill that in, and this could get welded on the axle itself. Um, I just, with me having the ability to be able to do all that stuff with my welder, that's just what I'm thinking. Uh, and then I'll have to get about a three inch shorter shock. And uh, the other way that you can do it is by this backing plate right here. Um, this backing plate is bolted on from the inside of the drum. Once you take the drum off, there's some bolts, in, four bolts in there. And, uh, this, this whole assembly comes off through this backing plate. And then they have four bolts that come up through here. And, uh, four other bolts that go through. And then they basically take this whole spindle assembly and it'll raise this up two and a half to three inches. So that's another way um, I'm thinking of doing it. The only thing I don't like about that is this being up like this. As you can see, this spindle is centered right in, the, in this axle tube like this. And if I do that, that's gonna put this spindle up about two and a half inches to about right here. And I just don't know, <clears throat> that, would, that would let that act that spindle move like this and I just don't know if I like that or not now granted I'm not gonna be hauling any heavy loads at all in the truck so I mean it would probably be fine and they're probably not even 500 pounds of weight to be honest with you on the back of this truck um, but that's another option that I have uh, the more and more I think about it and then doing that I don't have to buy new sh or shorter shocks at all. I could just put uh, factory shocks on it and be done with it. But like I said, if I'm putting new shocks up front, I might as well put new shocks out back too. Um, just everything is new. Uh, might as well keep it going new. So there's just some things I'm thinking about. I just don't know how I'm going to go about them. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think would be the easiest. Uh, just to flip the axle, raise the spindle. Uh, at this point in time, I'm not gonna do bags, so that scenario is out. Anyway, that's kinda where I'm at today. Just trying to figure some things out. Um, gonna wait until I get the rest of my parts in, waiting on my front coilovers. Um, gonna figure out how I'm gonna do the rest of the rear axle flip, and then uh, kinda go from there. I'm not certain, I'm not gonna do anything else as far, I'm not gonna start on the brakes, I'm not going to do any of that stuff until uh, the rest of my parts come in. I guess uh, I really don't need the front coilovers to do the back. I have everything. Um, the only thing I need to do is go get some uh, top plates. What I think, I don't think I'm going to use U-bolts um, to do this here. I think I'm going to use uh, another top plate and then weld a pin in it to center it and then use like three or four inch bolts going down through uh, all four corners is how I'm actually going to uh, bolt this together. I'm um, just thinking 
because this will go on the bottom. Because it'll play, yeah. I think I'm going to use two plates instead of U bolts because a, a plate can sit here. And then this plate will stay on the bottom of the springs like it was because this was this goes on the bottom or on the bottom right here. I'm sorry, this was on the top right here, like that. So there'll be two flat surfaces that I'll be able to bolt to. Um, one being the top of the original spring perch. And then the other one being the bottom of the spring. Um, they have these plates at Tractor Supply also. So I think that's what I'm going to do is just go get another set of plates and some four inch grade eight bolts and then do uh, before bolts with washers and lock nuts instead of actually using U-bolts. Um, that way I don't have to try and find the U-bolts that I need. I'll just run and grab the plates that correspond with this. And uh, I think that'll work out pretty good. So <clears throat> I think I'm pretty much set that I'm gonna do the axle flip. But uh, let me know what you think. I'd uh, be glad to uh, listen to all your comments and your suggestions. Um, I like hearing from you guys. Let me know what, uh, what you think would be pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of on the track of doing the axle flip, but I'm not opposed to doing the spindle raise, I guess, too, is what you would call it. Um, I just like I said, I expressed the, the concern that I, I told you about that spindle moving like this um, with that being up above the way this is now that spindle will stay centrally located within that uh, that axle tube so um, got one more thing that uh, I would like to ask you guys um, been thinking you know I'm ever so close to a thousand family members we are at 950 as of today so we're only 50 family members away from that uh, that 1k and I've been talking to you guys and telling you that I want to do a very significant giveaway at a thousand uh, subscribers um, family members the way I want to do that is I I'm going to get some more merch would you guys be willing or be interested in purchasing my merch whether it be i'm going to do t-shirts i'm going to do key tags i've got stickers in there so i have like three different things that you could purchase each purchase will give you one entry to uh let's see there'll be one um two three three to four four maybe four to five different uh items that you could choose from and none of them being valued less than right around a hundred bucks so uh would you guys be interested in that? that that's what i'm thinking of how i'm going to do it so like i said if you buy one t-shirt that's an entry if you buy a t-shirt and a key tag that's two entries if you buy t-shirt key tag and sticker that's three entries um yeah just just some things i'm thinking of 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 how i want to do the giveaway you know, I've given you guys all stickers in the past, but uh, this time I, I just I want your guys' input to see on if you guys would be interested in that type of a giveaway. Like I said, I've got some pretty nice uh, some pr some pretty nice items that I'm going to be giving away, and like I said, all of them have a value of a hundred dollars or more. So um, let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, Tell me if you, if you guys would be interested in that or is it too soon? So anyway, let me know. Comments below. Hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And we'll talk to you guys later on. Bye-bye.